Erica and thank you for clicking on this video. Today we are going to learn some ways that would help you to look approachable. Because it is important to look approachable in order to talk effectively. And this would help you to interact with people in a much better way. Well, at times these social events or these business events can be really a drag. Have you found yourself ever sitting in a corner and just wondering that, oh my God, all people are mingling with each other and you are alone sitting in a corner and wondering why people are not coming up to you and talking to you? Well, I'm sure there are certain wrong signals that you are giving. So today we will share some tips that would help you to look approachable. to look approachable is to smile and talk to people. Well, a warm smile or a very inviting smile would definitely help anyone to ease. So it is important for you, if you catch someone's eye, give a very nice warm smile. Of course, don't overdo it, but a simple smile or a simple hello would definitely help. But if you just stare or glare at a person or, you know, try to show that you are busy with your phone or you just start uh, reading a newspaper, that would really not help because people would interpret that you are full of yourself or you are completely antisocial. So a simple hello or an inviting warm smile would help you to look approachable. trick for you to look more approachable is networking. Well definitely networking helps because you start getting recognized once you start going to social events or business events on a regular basis. What you can do is you can establish your connections by meeting new people and asking for their Facebook IDs or their email addresses or even their exchange phone numbers. So this would help you to stay connected. Or another thing that you can do is ask your friends to introduce you to them or to the new friends. This way you will bring up a new social circle and that would help you to interact with people in a more confident manner. The third key to look approachable is dress the part. Well, it is important for you to dress appropriately because if you are dressed well and you are looking good, you also look confident. And this would definitely make people to come and approach you. So it is important for you to have an appropriate attire. If you are going for a formal meeting or for a formal event, make sure you're formally dressed. And of course, if you're going for a party, make sure you're dressed well, okay? Also, another thing is to be well groomed. Make sure your grooming should be on daily basis. You should have your nails manicured, your hair should be perfect, and this would make you look good and confident. The fourth trick to look more approachable is to improve yourself. Now, what does that mean? Well, to improve yourself means you need to expand your horizon. Now, how would you do that? Well, what you can do is you can take up yoga or you can join a gym or you can join some different classes like you can maybe uh, join some art class or some uh, something where you can learn something new and you can end up meeting so many people, okay, who belong to different sections of the society. So this would help you to start interacting with people and you would be more confident because you would get back in your shape too. The fifth one is 
to execute confidence. Now what here I mean is that you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe that you are confident and of course self-worth that would definitely attract people to come and talk to you, to approach you. Stay positive and stay humble. You need not portray overconfidence because that would be one negative aspect. Make sure you do not show your nervousness. Uh, stop touching your face while talking to someone or playing around with your hair or, uh, or if someone is trying to eye catch you, stop fiddling around with your phone. Okay, these are the signs that you are not interested. So make sure that you show your confidence and you believe in yourself. And this would definitely uh, attract people towards you. And this brings me to the end of this lesson. Hope these tips are helpful to you and you would come out as a more confident and approachable person. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you are updated with all my videos. Till then, you take care and I'll see you soon in the next lesson. Thank you. Imagine you're at work and you have a lot of tasks to complete but you're just not able to complete them in the given time. And then you might get feedback from your boss saying, you know what, you're not being very productive. So what is this productivity and how can you be highly productive at work? Well, if you want to know about that, you're at the right place. Today we're going to learn tips to become highly productive at your workplace. Welcome to Skillopedia, my name is Reema and today I'm going to share with you tips on how you can become highly productive at work. Now the first tip and this one I use like a golden rule, it's called learn to prioritize. That's right. Now you may have heard from many people that uh, keeping a priority list of tasks actually helps. Well let me tell you one more time, it does help and it helps in a big way. So in case you're somebody who ends up doing a lot of things at the same time or tries to complete their tasks and it's always a race against time, what you need to do is you need to make a to-do list and prioritize your tasks according to their urgency or according to their importance and the important thing to do is stick to this to-do list. That's right, do not digress and start at the top and finish at the bottom and as and when you keep finishing your tasks, keep taking them off your list because this will give you a lot of confidence, a lot of positivity and it will... Hello everyone, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to learn how to ask your boss for a promotion or for an increment. Now we all work really hard to either get promoted or to get a good raise in our salaries. So how do you really approach your boss to either get promoted or to get a raise? Well that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. So before we go ahead and approach our bosses for a promotion or for an increment, let's just do some homework today. The first tip that I have for you is to be subtle in your tone. Well, being subtle in your tone is ideal. Rather than asking for this direct, uh, straightforward promotion or for a raise in your salary, it's important for you to ask for more work. Well, this shows your dedication towards your company. 